Okay, okay. Hey guys, so this week, as you can see, we're gonna be making um, an easy uh, floor lamp, as I would call it. So this would just be like your stereotypical, I like to think of it as like a living room lamp, something along those lines. So um, go ahead and open up a new scene. And then uh, we're gonna be adding in a reference just cause I find that that helps. Um, so go into front view, you can do view, image plane, import image, and then we're going to be bringing in, I already have this saved. I'll try and remember to link it in the description so you guys can use it as well. Um, if I completely forget that, then I would just look up <laughs> an easy floor lamp. Um, I like to look at like an actual image of one instead of like looking at an outline or a drawing of one, but it's totally up to you. All right, um, on the right, go ahead and click looking through camera. And then I'm gonna probably scale this up a bit. Um, that way we can like actually see it a bit more. And then I'm gonna try and put it as close to the ground as possible. And then we're gonna be making a cylinder. And then you can do um, Y to one to put it on the ground. And then let's go ahead and go into vertex mode and take these vertices all the way up to Probably around here is where our pole will stop. All right, um, I'm gonna go into wireframe mode for that. And then um, if you guys have been watching some of our tutorials where we follow similar um, procedures as this, you know that we're gonna be adding multi-cuts and then scaling in those edge loops to basically just fit the silhouette. So um, you go ahead, you can hold control and just click um, as, as needed, really. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is do middle click so that I get even um, halfway cuts for all of those. And then you can go ahead and select those guys and then hold control and scale on the top to fit however wide you want it to be. And then looks like down here, we're going to need to do a little more detail. So, um, looks like we're going to need to add a multi-cut right here. And then we can scale that in a bit. And then let's add a multi-cut here at the bottom of that base. And then maybe halfway through there as well. And then just select those one by one, hold control and scale in until it looks how you want it to look. Okay, let's scale this one up to be probably about there. And then we gotta scale these two up. And then you can press three and see how it's gonna shape up a little bit. We'll bevel stuff and, and things like that but just make sure it's at a size that you want. I'm gonna make this guy probably a little bit smaller like that. And then I'm gonna curve um, this bottom one as well, just so it goes in a tiny bit more. Yeah, we'll do like that. Okay, cool. So um, you can go out of wireframe mode and then let's just go ahead and start making the top part. So go into perspective view. So go ahead and create another cylinder and then move it all the way up here. And then let's put it at like the base of that white part of the shade, move the vertices up to the top of the shade, select both of those vertices, click R. And then I think what I'm going to end up doing is um, go into perspective. Let's just scale up from the middle until it's the right size. And then we can push in these vertices until they are the right height. That way we get the right um, circular feature. All right, there we go. So next thing we need to do is hollow out that shade. Go ahead and um, select the top faces and delete them. And then you can select the bottom faces as well and delete them. Go into object mode, extrude it, control E or command E, and then thicken it until however thick you want the shape to be. Probably do that. Um, we'll also end up beveling that so it doesn't suck in so much. All right, next thing I wanna do is I wanna add little um, like rings here. Potentially they would hold a light bulb. Um, eventually when I actually model a light bulb, we'll just like put it in. But for now, go ahead and make a torus. And then you can press W and push it up here. In the attribute editor, click on polytorus one, and then let's make the radius like 
Let's make the subdivision axis 10 and same with the height. Doesn't have to be a super high polygon. Go ahead and change the section radius to 0.1 so that it's a bit thinner. And then um, go ahead and push it down to be at the top of the pole. So right about there. And then uh, you can duplicate that. So command D and then push that down to be around the bottom of the lampshade. So maybe like right there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be um, putting cylinders through that to kind of like connect them all. So you can just create a new cylinder, press W and move it up here. And then um, we're gonna be changing in poly cylinder one in the attribute editor, change um, the height to be like three and then change the radius to be like point um, five. Should, okay, let's try change the radius to be point one. And then we might need to make it smaller depending on how big the torus is. I think I'm gonna do 0.07. All right, go ahead and um, in P cylinder three tab on the right, let's rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. So it's facing that way. And then you can click R and then scale this yellow guy until it clips through the edges. Then just press W and you're gonna clip it through those cylinders, just like that. You can uh, duplicate that and then press it down until it clips that cylinder. All right, looks good. So um, that's basically it for the floor lamp. The next thing we just need to do is just go through and bevel all the edges so that um, they don't collapse in on each other. So um, I'll just do this really quick and then you can kind of choose um, whichever edges you want to um, bevel. You don't have to do all of them. You don't have to do any of them. I usually recommend that you do the bottom and um, basically any angle that comes to like a complete 90 is a good idea. Um, but again, that's a design choice. So if you feel like you want everything to kind of like round into each other, go for it. Um, okay. And then don't forget the top of this cylinder as well. For most of the things you want a relatively small fraction. So it comes to a really like nice clean point. And then especially the shade, you want to have very clean edges or else it'll kind of look like it's um, not a shade. <laughs> it'll, it'll look a little wonky. All right, that's probably good. Um, and then I think t the Tauruses are fine to just press three on and put subs on. And then let's see, we can do those as well. You might want to just go ahead and bevel um, the edges of these guys. Here, let's hide this guy. Hiding is a uh, control H. And then let's select the edges of these cylinders and bevel them as well. Just to be safe. Okay. And then um, do this one as well. All right, looks good. Um, you can press three on both those now and they should remain their shape. Oh, it looks like I forgot that one on the edge. These guys are hidden, so they don't need to be as exact, but all right, now you can press three on those and see how they turn out. All right, um, in the outliner, you can access the outliner over here. Click on your cylinder that we hid, which is the lampshade and do shift H and do shift H and that will unhide it. All right, looks good. So um, that's basically everything. All you really need to do now is um, combine the meshes if you want to. I'm gonna leave mine separate for now because I feel like I might 
want to texture them separately. So um, we'll see. But for the most part, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, I thought this one was a bit easier. I kind of like resorting to easy tutorials when I find like a roadblock. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys enjoyed and expect some fun new stuff coming out soon. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.